Well, kia ora everybody, and uh, this, is, this is pretty much um, the place that I wanted to take you to. This is my island, this is the end of the, um, of the taxi rides. Uh, and I'll just tell you a wee bit about, about our place. Um, it, it's, a, it's a place that's been handed down for generations um, by the indigenous peoples of southern New Zealand. And um, in here we, it's a place our families have always gone to participate in a food harvest. Um, the, the, the catching the, of the titi, the mutton bird. And when we come here, um, we go to the same places that our families have always gone to. So we go to the, to, to the places, the uh, um, yeah, same place every year, the place that our families have gone for generations after generation. So it's, it's very special for us to be in this place and to walk in the same footprints as the old people. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's, it's a place that feeds our identity. Growing up as a, as a young man, um, we'd sort of take a couple of months off school every year, pack up, get on a boat and come down here. When we're down here, there's no electricity, there's no running water, um, there's, there's no internet coverage access. So when we come down, it's just us with the family, with the poa, grandfather, uh, grandmother, uncles and aunties, etc., mother. So it's a, it's a place where our family comes in, you know, any, at any given time. You know, even this season, um, I think we've got about sort of uh, 30 or 40 relations <laughs> living all around the place. It's just sort of getting late afternoon. I don't know if you can see the birds all jumping around behind me, but they're having a bit of, wee bit of fun out there. Um, yeah, so this is, this is the place that whenever I think about who I am and what I do, this is the place that I come to. Unfortunately, I can only get down sort of like a, a week at a time just now with, with modern life commitments. But this is the place that feeds my identity the place that the ancestors have always gone to. The place that we still go to now and have that connection to where we harvest food. And I've just got the camera turned around here now because I saw what's called a weka. There he goes, over here. See that fellow running around over there? He's a small flightless bird, not a kiwi. He's gone in the bush there now. Yeah, so this, this is our place. Um, I'll tell you a wee bit about the birds. They're an interesting bird, migratory bird. They migrate around the um, Pacific Rim. So all around from, from our place, they leave here at sort of uh, late May. And migrate around the Pacific Rim and come back and they only make landfall back here. And when they make landfall, they come and nest and holes in the ground, so they don't actually nest in trees, they, uh, they burrow into the ground. And so this is what their, their holes look like here. You can see actually that's got some fresh scratchings around it, so there'll be a baby in there somewhere. And in the first half of the season, we actually have to spend time lying on the ground, trying to get the birds out of their holes. But in the second, the second part of the season, uh, which, is, which is now, they come out and they walk around and they get rid of all their downs, etc., and get ready to fly, get ready to leave. And we come out at night, and the windier and rainier, the better. They don't like the, the moon. So those dark, dreary nights. Now, growing up as a, as a young fella, sleeping in a, a cold house with you know, no electricity, uh, you know, and, and hearing the powers, the grandfather's feet hit the floor as soon as that rain hits the roof in the middle of the night, two o'clock in the morning, getting out. And it's like, ah, oh, I've got to get out and go to work. <coughs> so it's a unique, a very unique place. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you any of the processes of, of catching the birds. But I can show you our place and what it looks like. And in locating it, I suppose it's difficult. You have to look on a map. A wee bit of rain coming through just now. 
but it's difficult to, to locate without knowing New Zealand. And it's right at the very, very bottom. So the last island that we have in New Zealand is, is called Rakiura, Stewart Island. And that should be it over there. You can just see it in the distance. That's yeah, Rakiura, that's Stewart Island. And I'll tell you what, I'm right at the edge of a cliff here. It's quite, quite, uh, quite fun coming out here, but a wee bit scary as well. There's a <laughs> but I'll tell you what, if I get down here, and sorry, I can't focus in, but if you look down there, you can see some seals sleeping on the rocks down there. Looks like a couple of parents or, and a baby. Can you see them? Hopefully you can. So with this place here anyway, that's the bottom, very bottom of New Zealand. And out that way, if we go any further, we're out into the ice. So we're out into Antarctica. So yeah, it gets pretty cold out here. You can see the sea rolling in. Down there, uh, there's a lot of what we call kaimana. So um, um, a lot of pawa, uh, abalone. Uh, kinna, uh, sea urchin, and, and yeah, a lot of other fish as well. Not really good diving conditions today. But also you see that weed there, that's, that's pretty good for eating if you know how to, how to work it properly. Also use that um, kelp for preserving food. So um, the old people would hollow it out and put food in there and it would be an air, airtight container. There's a nice wee surge coming in. I see our seal mates are still down there. I'll tell you what. One of the fun things we used to do as kids is chase seals. I'll get a wee bit closer to the rocks and see if I can uh, see if I can see any. Bit of rain coming in now so I actually think it's going to be a good night to go out and catch birds. Actually sometimes it's a wee bit freaky because the uh, the seals they occasionally come up into the bush and um, they sleep in the ferns and they jump out at night and give you a hell of a fright. Look down. Just bear with me guys. We'll get down here and see if we can get a close up on some of these, eh? They're freaky in the bush, they're also freaky in the water. Sometimes when we're out there diving, the seals come along and they just uh, Give you a wee nudge, a wee push. It's quite daunting because some of them are quite big. But you know, the thing is they're all inhabitants here. They live here, we're just the visitors. We're lucky enough to share this place with them. You know, we don't own well we don't own anything, eh? It's a you know, a lot of indigenous peoples when they talk about land and connection to land. We don't work on an idea of ownership. We work on the idea that we that we live here in this place with these things. Unfortunately, no seals down there today. A lot of water on the phone. Yeah. So when we're here, we we understand the special relationship we've got with this place. Um, and we understand how lucky we are to be here. We try not to disturb the land or those other beings that live here, you know, or other relations that we share this place with too much. Uh, you know, apart from 
our food sources. That's the way that works, eh? We'll get down on these rocks and have a wee look. It's hard work. Now just be very careful and see if we got any. Got a little seal mates. And I think not today. Yeah. Sorry, but this guy's brought you all the way down here. There's nothing to see. Go down at sea level. Yeah, so, um, you know, this is, this is, uh, this is my place. This is my identity, this is the place that I connect to. This is the place that when I think about who I am and what I do, I go to this place. This is the place that I know that I'm responsible for. I'm responsible for looking after this place so these trees can grow. Looking after these waters so that we can get the, the fish out of the waters and looking after the other animals that are here as well. And not many animals. Just birds and seals mainly. But looking after everything here. Because I know if I don't, and if this place disappears, this, this place that uh, we've been given by the old people, this place that's been given to us by nature, you know, uh, if we wreck this and ruin this, there's nothing left for us, eh? But this is it. This is us. Me and the wee birdie over here. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, thanks for joining me on this, on this trip down here to our island. And uh, I'll, I'll talk more to you soon, eh? So uh, take care. See you soon.